Hi all, Lauren Bracken here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at FlexClip. It's a video making software tool and I'm going to show you inside the members area. I'll show you a demo of how it works. I'll give you the pros and cons of FlexClip and then finally I'll share who I believe it's most suited for. Before we dive right in though, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you stay informed of future videos just like this one. So let's dive right into FlexClip. I'm on the FlexClip homepage and they run through the different features they have and so on about their videos and give examples of what type of videos you can create. And you can sign up here for free and you will be shown different example videos you can create, such as business, real estate, explainer, education, promo, corporate tutorial, and then lifestyle videos and social media videos. And then you can have a look at templates as well. And you'll see here on the left hand side, they have tons of different templates you can use, whether it be for Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or different types of products that you promote and different occasions. FlexClip have four pricing plans. On the free version, you get 480p SD download, one stock video per project, maximum of 12 projects, and video length of up to one minute long. Then basic plan, you have 720p HD downloads, you got one stock video per project, you got 50 projects online, you can have videos up to three minutes long, you can have a custom watermark and no FlexClip intro. On the free plan, you will have a FlexClip intro on your video. And then plus plan is just 1080p full HD downloads. You get more options and more availability for your projects. And then business plan, you can go unlimited stock videos per project. You've got thousands of projects online and then you can have videos up to 30 minutes long. Now that's with the monthly plan. And then you have the option of going annual, which will save you up to 50% on all the plans. This may be something you want to consider if you decide to use FlexClip in the long term. So when you enter your email and password and sign up, there's a simple three-step process. You just go through, they ask you what are the type of videos that you want to create for your business. And then step two, they're asking you what's your purpose with FlexClip, what type of videos you want to create. And the final step then, they're just confirming that your account is registered successfully and to go check your email and activate your account. Once you're logged in and you're all set up, you're going to be brought into your dashboard area. And this is exactly what you'll see. You have on the bottom right hand side an icon to get support if you have any questions. We have our account details down here and we show our tutorials. This will give you just different ideas of how to use FlexClip. They walk you through getting started. And also here we have languages. You can choose from English and Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, French and Chinese. You can create a video from the templates or you can start one from scratch on the left hand side. Then you have my projects. I was playing around with it earlier on to see how it works. Then you can choose from stock videos. If there are particular videos that you want to use, then you can search the videos in here and I should bring it up for you. And then also you can go back into the templates and browse from the categories on the left hand side or scroll down and get some ideas from the templates. We'll just have a quick listen to some of these preview videos so you get an idea of what type of templates you can choose from. Now for the flex clip demo, I'm going to use a similar script I use for other video makers. And by the way, if you want to take a look at the playlist of video makers, I will leave it in the card above. I'm going to go ahead and select customize. It takes a minute or two for the video editor to open up. I'll walk you through the features of FlexClip. On the left hand side here, we start off with templates. And these are the exact same ones we were looking at before, except if you want to include more, you can include them into your existing clips here. Then we have media. 
and you can upload your own file. You can use stock media from their library right here, or you can go ahead and record your screen or your webcam and include it within FlexClip. And it's all done within the platform itself, which is a very nice feature to include. And then we have our text. You can have different animations and they have loads there to choose from. And then you have overlays and you can choose from all these different animations as well. And then we have elements, which is another feature I really like inside FlexClip because it, you can make your videos very unique and personal to you. They have loads of different ones there you can choose from. Then we have backgrounds. We have abstract technology, effect backgrounds, uh, gradient, photo backgrounds. Pretty much the list is very long here as well you will have plenty to choose from and then we have music this is the track that's included within the template but you can go ahead and change it from their stock music or you can upload your own music if you want to choose their stock music and you can choose from mood genre instrument and then the duration of the song you can adjust the volume the fade in and out and if you want the music track to loop if the video clips is actually longer than the track itself it will go back to the beginning and you can play it again and then on the pay plans you can include your watermark you can include an image and then finally you can have the video in 169 which would be for YouTube or Instagram or different sizes whichever one suits you'll notice that there's an actual line showing you exactly where the clip is going to be shown on the video which is pretty great if you want to create a video for different platforms now above the video here we have hundred percent you can zoom in and out you can make it fit or fill the actual area and then again the volume you can bring it up or down and then transform you can rotate it you can turn it around in the filter section you can change the different color gradients whether you want a grayscale it will change the video and make it unique to what you want and you can adjust the exposure the contrast the brightness temperature tints and the list goes on there so you can play around with the different colors and so on and then the speed of the video if it's too slow or too long you can increase or decrease the speed and then under the video you can select the record button and you can record your own voice you can see it's counting up one two three and then if you let go of the button it's going to stop and that's going to be included in this clip and if you made a mistake you can go ahead and delete the voiceover it's going to ask you to confirm and you can say remove and it's back to normal again then you can split the video as well if you like you can choose exactly where you want to split it and you can say split video and you're going to notice then on the timeline it's split it into two seconds and then three seconds and then finally on the timeline itself you'll see in the middle here we have transitions when you select that button you're going to be given options of different transitions between each slide if you want a wipe effect between each transition it's going to show like this or the right hand side or up or down and then you can have a fade transition and then you can have zoom let me see take a look at zoom and then I really like these transitions they make it look very professional and when you like when you can go ahead and select it and apply and that transition is going to be shown in between these two clips now like I mentioned before I already have a script prepared from a previous video maker example so I'm going to use this I'll start off anyway with the first line and here I have my first clip I'm going to put this in here paste you'll notice you're allowed 200 characters I'm going to delete this bit out say okay I'm going to copy And now we can preview it. You see this actually two second clip, which is quite short. We can increase that and slow it down a bit and we can check it out again. Which looks better. And I'll go on to clip number two and do the exact same thing. And that's our first two clips created. Now we'll go ahead and select the next one. I'll add a transition and apply and what we could do is add an overlay if we like and we can change the colors of the overlay and we'll have a look and that just shows you how easy it is to change with the features and to add overlays and the same goes here for elements you can add anything you like it's going to be included onto the screen you can move it around or you can delete it I'll go ahead now and finish up the video so you don't have to look at the whole process and what we're going to do now is I'm going to export the video and now we have an option of our 480p which is our free version export the video for free with the flex clip intro if the video is longer than the one minute length 
If you want that video resolution, you're going to have a flex clip video intro at the start of your videos. I'll select export video for free with a flex clip intro. Now you can name the video and you can name the created by and you can select the flex clip intro. Okay, so I'm going to head and export the video. Now it does explain that if you go off this page, it may take longer to render. And if you stay on it, it might take that bit longer. We're at 7% at the minute. It can take some time. So I would suggest just leaving the computer on the screen and then coming back to it in a few minutes. I'll go ahead and pause the video and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, so that took around four minutes to render. You have a choice now. You can upload it to Dropbox and share. You can share it on YouTube or you can go back and edit it again or you can just open up your download. And you'll notice the flex clip intro at the beginning before the video commences. I'll select play. And that's pretty much it. The video is done, complete. And now let's go take a look at the pros and cons. Okay, the first pro is it's very easy to use. And another pro is it has the webcam and screen recorder within the software itself. I think this is a really neat feature. It's not actually included in many other softwares that I've reviewed. So it's definitely an added event. You can create professional and unique videos with the elements and transitions. As you've seen from the demo, I included transitions and some elements and they do look really well. And another thing I like about FlexClip is the fact that they do have the free plan that you can test it out and even use the videos as is. Even though there is the FlexClip intro at the beginning of the video, if you don't mind that, then the free plan is definitely your best option. And then all their paid plans are all very affordable. What I would recommend is start off with the free plan, check it out, see if it's what you want and if it meets what you're looking for. And if it is something you can see using in the long term, then move it on to the paid plan Either way, you can sign up down below. And if you do decide to go with the annual plan, I have a discount coupon code down below. You can enter it in and you get an additional 20% off at the time of this video. Now onto some of the cons. If you were looking to create a video from your blog post, it's a very, very long script. It is going to take a long time to create your videos with FlexClip. So FlexClip would not be the fastest video maker. If you wanted this feature where you can input your script, you could use the likes of Vidnami or possibly Lumen5. Vidnami will be my number one recommendation as it is the most affordable and beginner friendly software. Now another con, if you're looking for text to speech software within the video maker, FlexClip doesn't have it. However, like I've shown you in the demo, you can include your own voice. Now, and finally, I had to mention this because I did do a quick search for FlexClip as I only found out about these a couple of days ago. Now, I checked them out on Trustpilot and I want to just quickly show you some of the comments there. Now, over on Trustpilot, you'll notice they do have an overall excellent star rating. However, when you do go down, there are some negative comments about the app not working and the videos not downloading. If there was only one comment like this, I may not pass much heed, but there were a couple of comments like that. So something like that would trigger some warning that maybe there is an issue with the software. From what I'm aware and from what I've tested so far, I have had zero issues. But like I say, even on the free plan, there's nothing to lose. You can check it out yourself. See, does it work for you? They do have overall all very good 4.5 star rating but I just wanted to show you this so you're fully aware and who do I believe FlexClip is best suited for well I believe this will be an ideal software for someone who is just beginning you've never used a software like a video maker before it might be a good option if you're looking for a free version and then it's also affordable with the paid versions as well
well if you want shorter type videos. If you want the longer ones, Vidnami will be my number one recommendation. It also includes the uh, screen recordings and webcam feature. So what I recommend is try the free plan first. And if you're happy enough with it, then maybe consider going on to the paid first as you will save some money if you do go on the yearly plan. And that's my review of FlexClip. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions at all, leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And make sure you go hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Hit that like button if you got value from this video. And why not check out these other videos on screen and I'll chat you on the next video. Take care.